please don't fall. Hello everyone, today I thought I would show you how I use my computer as a pedal board to go into my amplifier. I believe there are a few different ways that you can do this, but I'm gonna show you the one I think is the easiest. All you need is a guitar, obviously, an audio interface such as this one, and it's better if it has dedicated mono outputs, a USB cable, a computer with your effects on it, an amplifier, and two regular guitar cables. Hey, uh, hi. <laughs> I'll try to draw a diagram because the way you hook up everything is kind of confusing, so bear with me. Oh, shit. Hey. So here is your guitar. I'm not even going to attempt to draw a guitar. So this is all you get. Here we go. You plug in your guitar into your interface and you plug in your interface with the USB cable to your computer. Then you take the second cable and you plug in your interface into your amplifier using one of your interface outputs. You can also use your headphone output, but this is a stereo connection and it's better if you use one of your mono outputs. I think that's clear enough. Okay, so I have everything hooked up now. I'm sitting at my computer and I'm gonna show you what you do inside your program. This is my basic guitar sound coming out of my amplifier. I'm just using one mono channel and I'm using input one because my guitar is going into input one of my interface. And for the outputs, and this is gonna be a little different for your DAW if you're not using Studio One, so bear with me. But uh, if you go to outputs in your DAW, you're gonna want to make a new output. Here, I, I already made one, but I'm gonna show you how to make a, a new one. A mono output, because we're using one of the mono outputs in our interface and we're gonna select the one that we're gonna, that we are using in this case it's number three and you can name it whatever you want amplifier and this is number three and then we're using output number three apply hit ok and now in our multi-track we select that output amplifier and now the signal should be going out of that output into your amplifier. And then you're gonna use whatever software you use for effects. In this case, I've been using bias effects, but you can use GTR, um, whatever, <laughs> whatever you, you are using. And this way you can use all of the pedals that come with the program. You can use, for example, a delay pedal if you don't have one. And it's like I'm using a delay pedal going into my amplifier. It's pretty cool. If you don't have an overdrive pedal, you can use that one as well. This is like a tube screamer. I actually came up with this technique because I wanted to use a fuzz pedal and I don't have one. So let's try one of those. You do need 
a fairly decent computer to do this. I can notice a little bit of lag. There's a little bit of delay between me playing my guitar and the sound coming out of my amplifier. It is a very slight delay. I notice it because I play straight into my amplifier all the time. So having my interface and my computer processing the sound in the middle is very noticeable to me, but it's not really bad at all. If we look at the sample count, I would say 128 samples feels pretty good. That's not too bad. That's really responsive actually. You don't really need a monster brand new computer, but you do need something fairly decent that can run, you know, bias effects or whatever you're using at a sample count that's near 128. Does bias effects have metal zone? Metal mode? Trash Master, I think this is it. Metal tone. Oh yeah. What about a whammy pedal? Oh yeah. That's pretty much it. That's how you use your computer as a pedal board to go into your amplifier. Technically, you could also use a microphone and go back into your interface and back into your computer. I wouldn't really recommend it because it's gonna give you quite some lag after you, if you're using backing tracks and you are trying to record over something else that you already have. The whole process of going in and out and then back into the computer it, it, it might not work. That's it for today. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this. And I'll see you next week. Bye. This is not safe at all. That's good. <laughs> Looks so sketchy. No, se acabó la pila. No, se le acabó la pila.